on the menu tonight is General Tso's Chicken. Um, it's one of our favorites. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, it really doesn't take uh, much time at all. So if you're interested, uh, please watch and we'll show you how to do it step by step. Now we haven't done uh, any Chinese recipes before because I really haven't mastered uh, that cuisine. Um, I've tried for a long time, but it always seems like the stuff you get in the restaurants uh, are a lot better. Um, but I've been working with this one for uh, quite some time and I think I got this close. Crystal and I really like General Tso's. It's our favorite dish. So we thought we'd uh, show you this tonight. Now we have the chicken and the thing about this, there's a lot of recipes out there that call for chicken breast, chicken thighs. Um, I understand that um, the thighs really is the uh, meat you use for General Tso's. I've used both before, so tonight I'll go with the, uh, the chicken thighs since um, that normally is the, the chicken you use with it. Um, now we have some ginger here. This will be part of the recipe. If you've never seen whole ginger, you just had the spice. Um, this is the ginger root, so we're just gonna cut some of this and mince it up. We have some garlic we're gonna cut up with that, some hot chili peppers, and some green onion. Uh, for the chicken, the batter, all we're going to do is um, beat the eggs, mix it in eggs and flour, and fry it in the oil. And when it's done, we'll put some sesame seed on it. And over on this side, this is the sauce. We have chicken stock, some white sugar, brown sugar, rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, poison sauce, and cornstarch. So there's quite a few ingredients. Um, but it goes pretty smoothly. We take it in steps. The first step we're going to do the sauce. Once that's done, we'll prepare the chicken, fry it up, and once all that's done, we put it together and it goes really fast. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, prepare the sauce. We'll take half a cup of chicken broth. Put that in a bowl. And three teaspoons of white sugar. of brown sugar. Did I say teaspoon or tablespoon? I forget. They're tablespoons. Okay. <laughs> Just so we know. And this was the rice vinegar. Four tablespoons. What's Two that? spoons of that? Two tablespoons. Never even heard of that. Yeah. Looks kind of creepy, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two teaspoons of cornstarch. Oh, it's right at the end. It's hard to get that last tablespoon out of there, huh? And one teaspoon of sesame oil. this up. And the funny thing with this, it doesn't smell very good right now, mm -hmm. but once you cook it and it all comes together, it has a really nice aroma. Oh. But it's funny, yeah, before it's cooked, just doesn't smell all that great. Okay, now I'm going to cut up the chicken, and what I chose to buy tonight were the uh, cutlets that are already hand trimmed. Um, now I could have went with the regular thighs with the bone and they would have been less money. But I paid a little extra because they already took it off the bone and they trimmed it. So they saved me uh, a little time. But you could go with whichever one you want. You can save a little money if you buy it already on the bone. This just saves a little time. So what we're going to do is cut this up. And just think of bite-sized pieces that you want to have. So as people are eating this, we just want to have nice bite-sized chunks. So we're going to cut all the chicken up just like that. All right, we're just going to cut a piece of this ginger off. I'll save this for later and we'll just use this tonight.
smells really good. Mm -hmm. Now we have the garlic. We'll just start chopping that up. Doesn't have to be too fine. You can leave it in. Uh, nice chunks. Doesn't have to be minced. green onion. What we'll do is we're going to cut this in like one to two inch slices like this. Leave them kind of big. Okay, we have the sauce. We have the ingredients cut up uh, to fry before the chicken goes in. And now here we're going to do the chicken on sort of an assembly line. It's all cut up in bite-sized pieces. Now we're gonna put in egg and flour, and then we're gonna bread it and put it here and get ready to fry. So two egg should be good for all that chicken. Take our flour, just put a bunch in there. Okay, let's dump the chicken in. Now we can mix it all up with the egg. Now that the chicken is in the egg mixture, you just take it and put it in here. And we'll go through and do as many pieces as uh, you want to fry. You see how they're coated like that? Nice bite-sized pieces? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. That's the key. Bite-sized pieces. Okay, the chicken is all done. Coated with flour. Now what we're going to do is put some oil in the pan, heat it up, and start frying the chicken. Okay, what we have here is a non-stick wok. Uh, if you don't have a wok, you could use a regular fry pan. Anything you would normally use to, uh, you know, fry foods. And we're just going to take some regular vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to pour maybe about two cups in here. All right, and we'll put this on high. Uh, you want it about 375 uh, degrees, um, so I'll put it right about there. And if you have a, you know, one of those cooking thermometers, you could put it in there and actually get the heat. But I sort of just play it by ear. So we'll let this uh, heat up, and we'll start frying the chicken. Okay. Now what we do is take the chicken and we start dropping it in. We're going to cook it till it's nice and golden brown. What I think I'll do is this plate, we don't want to crowd it too much, so I'll cook it in two batches, in half and half. Okay, our trusty slotted spoon makes it a lot easier to take things out when you're deep frying. It's been about four minutes for each batch. Take them out. Then what I'm going to do is discard the soil because I want to use the same pan and then we'll be ready to go for our final step. Okay, final step. We put it all together. We have the sauce, the vegetable ingredients, and the chicken. So we start off with about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We're going to heat that very high. We want very high heat here. And um, if you don't like it too spicy, you don't have to use these. Crystal and I like it a little spicy, so we're using two. If you like it really spicy, you could go four or even six of these, but these are really hot. So this will give like a, a medium heat to it. Okay, do you see the smoke rising out of that? Yep. That's really hot. That's good. So we're going to put all this in. 
That's so funny. No, it's, it's like popping hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very hot. Keep stirring it. Okay, I'm going to take our sauce. And remember we have the cornstarch in there? Mm-hmm. The cornstarch is going to allow it to thicken. You know how you get the general soles and it's kind of like a thick sauce? Mm hmm Yeah, it's a cornstarch that thickens it up. Oh, okay. You see how it's thickening already? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. So a little bit more, we'll let it thicken up just a little bit more than we put the chicken in. Let's bring it over and put it on the dish. Okay, here's the general sows. We have the general sows all done. I made some um, fried rice that I would serve with it and some steamed broccoli. I thought that would be nice. So uh, let's put it all together on the plate. sesame seeds to it and then we'll put some chopped green onion on it and that's it excellent general so's chicken